Hello YouTube, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back guys to my YouTube channel, this is Betty's Path. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, thank you so much for dropping by again. I'm so happy you came back, I'm so excited that you're here and this is a space where all of us, we share our experiences and I in particular, I share my path, I share my experiences along the lines of faith health and lifestyle okay so i share my experiences with you guys and you can do with it whatever you will okay if it pleases you you can apply it as well if not you might as well just you know enjoy it and have fun and be happy okay because i believe that every one of every one of us we have our own parts of life and i'm sharing my path with you it might inspire you it might just be fun for you that's pretty much okay it's so okay so today guys i have something very exciting to share with you guys it has been the one of the most requested videos one of the most um requested things for my friends for my family members from you guys as well you guys ask me how i stay happy and healthy in spite of the whole um, coronavirus situation the whole quarantine you know if you don't know me if you're new here i live in milan in italy and italy has been really struck hard with this whole coronavirus pandemic as you guys know at the beginning it was so horrible i remember my family members were so worried my friends as well they called from north east and west i love you guys so much i love you you guys showed me a lot of concern i mean i was in the pandemic i was in the situation and i was not even as half as worried as you guys were for me if that makes any sense so i'm so happy i'm so excited the love is just too much it's just so much yeah. and let's jump right into the video <laughs> so guys um I live in Milan, the northern part of Italy. It has been hit really hard by the pandemic, by the coronavirus so far. Because in Italy, at the beginning, it was it, the whole situation was happening, the whole of Italy. But the northern part was really hit hard. I mean, it has been a red zone for a very long time now. It's just now that things are getting better and it's becoming more of an orange zone, if that makes any sense. So things are lightening up and um, we thank God. But I'd like to share with you guys how I happen to stay happy, how I stay energized in spite of the whole situation, how I still keep myself focused. Yes, I still have the down moment. Yes, I still get sad sometimes, but the great thing about it is that I don't remain sad. I don't remain in my down moment. I try to overcome this. So I'll be sharing with you five tips okay five six five things i have been using to stay happy and healthy in spite of the happenings around us okay so the first thing is that i try to be creative i try to do things that make me happy even though i'm indoors or even though i'm restricted to travel or to move i do the things that make me really really happy okay i try to build my skills i learn new skills i remember the beginning of this pandemic um um i mean there was a song that came out i've really forgotten the name of the song but there was this song that came out and was talking about the pandemic the whole corona situation it was very it was kind of like a gospel song i don't remember the name or the title but if i find it i will put it somewhere on the screen but um it was so nice i love the song so much it in a fun way it tried to um tell people what to do wash your hands um do the one meter distance stuff and stuff so it was so amazing and i during the quarantine i mean that was in the heart of the everything everyone was still locked down and i staged that song i i danced it out i put it out on social media and i got a lot of likes i got a lot of positive vibes from it okay i'm not a very good dancer but i love dancing so people were crying people were, people were dying and stuff i know some people took it like people are dying and i'm happy what's happening but i wasn't it's not as if i was happy people were dying i was just trying to if i call it like my own defense mechanism if that makes any sense that was what kept me happy i used to dance more even now i still dance more indoors i just play music and dance and just enjoy the moment stay happy you know 
um if you go to my instagram page i'm sure you would see that that song there and how i danced it i call it corona song <laughs> hashtag corona song it was so amazing and that's how i stay happy i've been able to build my dancing skills yes 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 to some level i know i'm not bragging without being proud in any way i'm not the best dancer whatsoever but i really love how far i've come with my dancing skills because more than any other thing i am in comparison with myself i'm not competing with anybody i'm comparing with me and i try to make myself better so i know where my dancing skills were before so and i know where they are right now and it is all thanks to the pandemic <laughs> do you get it? so use it for your own good do those things that make you happy be creative don't um focus so much on the downside of it if that makes any sense make it like make it to be joyful make it to be um happy do stuff yours might not be dancing for me it's dancing for me it's singing for me it's trying to create these videos for you this make me happy you know and yours maybe something else maybe you you are an artist and you don't even know you can start drawing some of us don't know how to draw <laughs> because i've tried and yeah it's not my thing and that's okay we all have our own gifts so yours may be drawing yours may be singing i know many talents that have popped out during this whole quarantine period i know many families have broken yes but many have also come together during this quarantine period okay nice. that's the second point okay connect with friends connect with family meet up with old friends okay meet up with try to catch up with your family this period will not be forever okay things are already easing up at the moment as of december 2020 things are really easing up and this might not be forever guys it's just a period so use it to your to the best of your ability come to think of it if you stay worrying watching the news panicking um, about the numbers and so on you would waste the whole time but if you turn that time around and connected more with family connected more with friends like spend time with your loved ones make it positive okay because you might not have this time again once everything eases up once the vaccine comes out and everything people will, life will return to normal okay just the other day i was going through the bible and i realized that things when things happen in terms of plagues, in terms of pandemics, they get forgotten too fast. Like in 2000 and I don't know, 2030, for example, we would not even remember that, that, that there was a 2019 pandemic. It would have been forgotten. Things pass, things go. So make advantage, take advantage of the moment, enjoy, connect with friends. Those things you were not able to do with your family members create games if you are a family person for i for me i live alone so i could only connect with family and friends on phone do face do do facetime do video calls do skype do things you can even play games over the phone connect speak with your loved ones with your nephews nieces those people you have not seen or spoken with for a long time connect connect and it should not be from a place of idleness of course it should be from a place of love because i met i i i really appreciate it oh i'm one of those people that i go for the intention behind the gesture if that makes any sense okay i don't really look at what you give me or what you do i look at the intention i look at your heart i look at the love that comes with it and i've come to understand that everything that happens to us or everything that we do once we put some love in it it just makes a very big difference you know once you put love in anything you do for me it's it just makes it so beautiful no matter how small that thing is once there's a good intention behind it one does love without is a thought that counts okay and not really the thing that you're giving or whatsoever is the attention the affection the time that you put in that really really matters okay so for me connect with them the next point um build your spiritual life guys this has been a turning point for me it has been like this whole pandemic to be honest has turned my story around <laughs> if that makes any sense so it has been a turning point for me in my spiritual life okay i've gotten to read the bible more i've gotten to pray more i've gotten to connect more with god 
you know on that spiritual level during this period it has not only been the fact of because at one point i was really spiritually lost you know if you live in the diaspora and you're just straight from africa you would understand i mean that feeling that you have left your church you've left your spiritual community physically of course you guys might still connect spiritually and so on but it's not the same okay so i felt really spiritually lost i felt alone i felt far away from god i didn't have that push sometimes even you know sometimes maybe you may be low in the spirit but once you go to church and fellowship with the community you are uplifted again in, in your spirit and everything just bounces back and you're fine again but for me when i got here i was almost lost yes in italy we have churches all over and so on and so forth but first there's a language barrier second there are people you don't know okay and you really can't communicate i speak italian quite fluently yes but it's really not the same it's not the same as when you connect with them in your mother tongue so sometimes it, it was very difficult for me i remember i called my friend blessing blessing a big shout out to you if you're watching this video i love you so much and really thank you so much for uplifting my spirit again i i got to her she was like girl has a problem i really saw the worries on the phone she she asked me and i was like she was like is anything wrong i'm sure she thought maybe i had a financial problem or a something emotional problem or something to share with her but <laughs> i told her girl i feel lost I, I i feel lost she was like what feel lost i was like yeah i really feel spiritually lost to be honest i feel like i feel hungry and thirsty for god i feel so far away from him i feel like i need more i need a community to fellowship with and this is really a big testimony for me once i reached out to her and it was only during this period that we got like like i said before connect with your friends build your friendships and you see what those can do for you so this was even when i really connected with her in a very like more intimate manner it became quite close so when i shared this with her she was like she really prays that god would quench my thirst for him and he would do so in jesus name and she said that prayer i just said it as well and then she connected me with her spiritual community with the amazing no sign out group shout out to you non sign out group it's an amazing community of young people we fellowship together online we have we are from all over the world everywhere from Cameroon, from my home country Cameroon, from wherever you are, you can join us because it's a whole community of people and we meet virtually every Saturday morning and pray and worship. Right now we are having a retreat. The last day is this coming Saturday. So if you're interested, comment down below so I can add you to our group, okay? It has really built me spiritually. This pandemic has been a time where I took advantage of everything and grew closer to God. This might help you try it and let me know down below. Fourth thing that um, has really been keeping me happy and healthy is that I've been trying to eat healthy. <laughs> I know on the contrary, you would say, but Petra, you can't say you've been trying to eat healthy because um, you are home, probably working from home, you have more time, you have your kitchen available to you 24 7, the fridge, you could always go there and take unhealthy food and eat at any time. You snack more often throughout the day. I know you might be thinking that way, but like I always say, it's all about um, consistency, it's all about um, being intentional rather about what you do. Like. If you tell yourself look i'm going to decide to eat healthy i'm going to decide to cook my own food and eat okay that's one thing too if you've been the type that eats out in the restaurant you do kfc you do mcdonald's yeah those are good things to do like excuse me like once in a while okay yes you can do those i also eat kfc i also eat mcdonald's but it should not be your way of life okay that's just it if you're doing KFC and McDonald's, to me, it should be once in a while. It shouldn't be something you do all the time, if that makes any sense. So for me, it has been a time where I cook at home. If you see my previous videos, um, the one in which I did pizza, please, I'll link them down below. You can look at them, how I cook at home. I did pizza, I did, I did um, <laughs> gnocchi, okay, with my housemates, and we ate together and stuff like that. So it has been a time for me to connect more with the people I live with 
cook at home, eat healthy meals, and not only eat takeaways. Okay, like maybe you would have done or I would have done if it wasn't a lockdown period. I don't do restaurants at now at all, okay, because of the whole pandemic. You're not sure of the hygiene, you're not sure of whatsoever. So I just try to cook from home. And I know of people the other day I was watching a documentary on um, Dr. Mike's channel, if you know Dr. Mike um, in the US. Um, he was talking about this guy who was really obese. I think he was. Uh, severely obese if i would say really big he was really huge and he was giving his testimony that it was he lost a whole lot of weight during the pandemic to him the, the pandemic has been a turning point in his life as far as his weight is concerned he has had the best results because of the lockdown because of the pandemic and we were so happy for him so i was like why people are lamenting and crying that the pandemic is doing things yes i know the pandemic has made us lost our jobs and this and that people have really lost their loved ones my condolence to you if you've lost someone to the pandemic or if you are even in the if you are even in quarantine or if you have the virus really i'm really really sorry who knows like i always say we are not free so we have no reason to mock you or to laugh at you it's fine you're gonna be fine okay so just do what you can do and keep the smiles on stay happy and you will see it will pass like any other pandemic okay like any other thing all of these things are not new the bible tells us in the book of ecclesiastes okay 3 verse 15 that everything on this earth has been happening and happening and god allows them to happen in a circle there is nothing new nothing new on the planet earth okay nothing is new any everything that you see now happening has happened before okay so this gives me courage as well it makes me understand that these things happening now have happened before they are not new okay and they will pass like any other thing this coronavirus has happened before in the bible it has happened before but it had a different name maybe they called it flu or they call it they called it um plague or whatever it was called it had a different name people had to cover their nostrils people had to wash their hands it happened i don't really know the exact bible verse but it had happened before and so there's nothing new and in the same way as it passed in the same way as the people overcame it it will pass and it's going to be forgotten so what you have to do is just to respect the rules and regulations keep social distances cover your face your, your mouth and your nose um what else wash your hands just do what you can do and you're going to be fine okay because it's going to pass doesn't mean you shouldn't respect the rules and regulations put in place do those stay happy and it's going to be fine sometimes we don't only have to focus on the goal but we should focus on the process enjoy the process okay enjoy the fact that it's, it's good enjoy the fact that it's difficult that's part of life okay and one day you're gonna have okay so the last point take walks okay because we are in a pandemic situation doesn't mean you should tie yourself at home okay i i for one i go out at least every day those who work completely from home this is for you because i know right now if you're out here in the diaspora most people who can work from home are being encouraged to do so like i mentioned in my last video if you haven't watched that video please uh, click down below and watch it you to have an idea of what's happening here now so most people are encouraged to work from home so if you're one of them and you're being encouraged to work completely from home do not neglect the fact that you can still take walks there are parks pretty much everywhere if you're in the diaspora even if you're in africa wherever you are i think there are parks amusement parks or even in your quarter whatsoever take a walk to the junction take a walk just relax your legs breathing some fresh air trust me it's therapeutic guys sometimes people just behave in some types of ways because they have been locked up in the house the whole place is closed and you know there's no positive vibes i don't know how to explain it but once you go out into nature especially i am a lover of nature and i know that once you go into nature you always feel better if you are like me you love nature go into nature go to the riverside go do have a walk in the park just enjoy just taking the positive vibes that comes from nature the breeze 
it's therapeutic trust me it's good for your physical health it's good for your mental health it's good for your psychological health and you're just going to be fine so okay. without taking much of your time guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming thank you so much for subscribing and if, if you've watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed please <laughs> what are you waiting for please subscribe this family is an amazing family it's growing gradually by the day and i'm so happy you guys are giving me positive feedback even negative feedback okay i accept everything corrections suggestions criticisms i'm open to all okay it just helps me grow and get better i'm so happy filming these videos for you i'm so happy sitting from the camera and talking to you guys my virtual community because i know that even though we are not together physically we are together spiritually and the Lord is our combined strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye, guys.